this is not a spring chicken. If you've been watching news lately, of course, well, the 4th of July weekend, but one of the things that we hope you especially enjoyed was the bikinis are and the ghost pirate with, oh, with the flags blowing in the background with, what is it? Star Spangled Banner and the ghost and the flag chorus. Oh, yes. So we hope that you enjoyed that. Meanwhile, news still continues, and we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. With a lot of prodding, the Democratic pundits all agree that Obama is unbeatable because of all the great things he has done to save us. You know, basically, BS would leave a pile about that one. Okay, the, it, you do not have this many people rallying around a president who, the, who today they have once again admitted that June is not a good month for, un, for employment, even though that the month you're hiring all the people for all the summer jobs, they're going to add 98,000 jobs total in June, which is 300,000 less than what they expected. Oh, really? Yeah, so he's not hiring the economy. And, and for all you folks, that everyone was told that every time the government goes into the reserve to, to uh, pump uh, fuel into the system, it always results in higher gas prices afterwards. Uh, since Obama done, since Obama opened up the reserves and pumped out a zillion gallons, the prices went up six dollars a barrel. Oh, really? Yeah, it went down temporarily for a week because they said all he did was, uh, if you totally exhausted the reserves in the thing, we could have a month of fuel. He exhausted one week of our stuff, and there's no intention of replacing it. Mm. Um, Raise taxes, don't cut anything, but the Defense Department is a rallying cry of the Democrats and Obama. Oh, I know, and that's how they, they, they have also, they magnanimously have agreed over their hard work, over, the, actually, none of the Democrats went to the Capitol Fourth thing, it was just Republicans. And Are you Democrats. serious? But, uh, because they were busy working on these proposals, the proposals being, they have also added to the proposal that they're going to slash 5% of the proposed spending they were going to add to the budget. And that the tax, uh, I know, I know. 5% of the uh, a proposed, proposed spending. Then they were upping spending by 25%, which means they were increasing. They were still just increasing at 20% instead of 25. Yeah, they're still going to spend 20%. But, uh, not a spring chick is massively disappointed. We are going to have to quit driving Monty's corporate jet. Ooh. Well, we must be because, uh, okay, uh, we're, we're, this building is set in Los Angeles, and basically you can't have a porta potty in Los Angeles that is not a quarter of a million dollars worth of property. We're, we, we're basically millionaires, and as, as the President of the United States said, millionaires are going to have to quit flying their corporate jets. Mm hmm. Oh, I, I know, but she doesn't even know how to fly it yet. Now we're going to have to give it up. Aww. Analysis, no turning back for Obama on the Afghan war. Yeah, he's he turning back on it. The they also analysis also is that they're going to, Taliban and, and, and Taliban and Al Qaeda are going to retake over Afghanistan and probably take over Pakistan when we pull out. The only thing that keeps Pakistan in existence is the United States military. Otherwise, they would take the country because Pakistan is full of right-wing right -wing religious clerics that want uh, secular rule. They, don't, they want the women to get out of politics. They don't want them driving. They want them to be dressed with burqas because, as everyone knows, uh, you know, we, we, saw some, we saw some very attractive Muslim models yesterday at the, at the uh, you know, uh, at the, uh, we went to Muslim Beach uh, Fourth of July thing. God, they were they were the most beautiful Muslim women I've ever seen in my life. They were so beautiful that I agree with the Muslim men that were standing next to me. These women are too beautiful for you infidels to see. They should all be covered in burqas. I wholeheartedly agreed with him that they should have been covered in burqas. <laughs> and you have film to see. <laughs> film at eleven. Well, it's one of those things that you, when you agree, you know, you have to agree that the guy was right. Did he say that? Yeah. He actually, he's really, you know, it's a disgrace, these women out there in these swimsuits. Their bodies are too magnificent for you infidels to see, and they should be covered in burqas, like all proper Muslim women should be. Of course he was sitting there watching them. Well, these are the same guys that go into bars in Las Vegas and pick up blondes uh -huh. and drink themselves to death. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Um, KKR and Silver like to buy GoDaddy for $2.25 billion. I know, it's basically, I mean, the, the whole internet world is shaking up. Google is preparing to buy, okay, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, they, they have no choice. It's a stock company. Google has the money to buy all the stock. Google, it doesn't make any difference if it's unsolicited bid or not. Google is going to have Hulu before the, the, you know, before the summer is up. And then when Google has Hulu, they're going, as, I, as I've been, I read their stuff, they, the intention is, is to move the feature, features that are working for YouTube over, over to Hulu, Hulu, which means uh, viral video is not working. But their other stuff, their paid stuff is, so they've got to keep the paid virals going. Because they've been wanting to get to a paid model for a long time. Yeah, and they're going to get into it now completely. And could Obama ignore Congress if they refuse to raise the debt ceiling? Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't depend he on it. Since, since when does this president pay any attention to the con He's a constitutional lawyer that feels the Constitution was writ written by a bunch of people that don't reflect current values. Well, they only wrote a document that's still standing 238 years I later. Know. So, but um, he, you can go around them. He can simply institute, uh, okay. He, uh, by executive order, he can raise the uh, raise raise the cost to work with the federal government. He can basically institute taxes on everybody that does works for the federal government, which is a lot of people. And he owns the banks, folks. He owns the health care system. He owns the insurance system. He owns the automobiles. And just think of how many people. Well, they're already jumping on um, uh, Home Depot for not but for violating the Buy America Act. Which means, what? Well, no, because they sell merchandise to people that work for the government. Right. So therefore, you can't sell merchandise. You're working with the government then, even though they're not working with the right. government. So he can raise the taxes on everything you do for home improvement now. And he owns most of the houses, so you buy a house, now you're going to have to pay a tax to Obama. Well, you know, yeah. he always figures a way to raise that money, doesn't he? Right. Minnesota government shutdown begins after talks fail. That's because the Republicans won't allow taxes. There's no spending. We're, we, we're, we're prepared to make the hard choices, but we need to make certain that teachers and the unions and all of these things are covered. Then we'll come back and we'll talk about cutting spending. And some GOP members say they're willing to look at revenue raising ideas. That's the Senate, folks, not the House. And the GOP Democrats are deadlocked on the debt ceiling. That's right. I told you, it's the, it's the House. The Senate is composed of an old boys club. They, these are the guys that basically never saw a rate they didn't want to hike or money they didn't want to spend. They just do it differently. They won't call it a tax. It's going to be called revenue enhancement, like I told you. They're going to raise sin taxes. That's, uh, that's a safe thing right there. You just... You know, you allow people to gamble in Las Vegas, but you charge them money for doing it. And New York marriage vote emboldens Paris Gay Pride March. Uh, New York is basically, okay, the way it works is the majority, they said two out of every three voters in the state of New York, they think that, that they should be allowed to be married to the ones that they choose, but they don't believe in anything more than a civil union. And so, and without the rights of marriage, so therefore... Mm -hmm. Uh, there is no support for gay marriage in the most liberal state in the United States, period. Mm. The, the, but it is, the state has got too many Latinos, they don't believe in it, they have too many black voters, they don't believe in it. These people, I mean, you go to a, you go to a black church or a Latino church, you're going to get hit with orthodox like you cannot believe, folks. Mm. And manufacturing rises, but consumers remain wary. Okay, there's nobody buying anything. So who's the, who's selling the stuff? They're right. Their manufacturing is rising. Well, their people are buying more construction materials because the housing industry is on the rise. No, it's not. They just admitted that it's down. They admitted that um, th uh, three out of every four pending sales are tanking because they can't get by the appraisals. And Glenn Beck has the last Fox News Channel show. I know, because they man he, he doesn't serve Obama's purposes anymore. Remember, everybody that, anybody that has a brain knows that Fox News actually supported Obama for the presidency. When it looks like they're pounding away on him, no. Oh, uh, Rupert Murdoch supported the man, folks. What happened was Glenn Beck was useful until there were too many people doing the same thing Beck was. And when that happens, there's no reason to pay a guy $3 million a year to do what uh, everybody else is doing for nothing. And Shriver files for divorce from Schwarzenegger. 
Yeah, he basically has no political future. So she's young, she's in her 50s, she'll find somebody else that has a political future, latch on to that person. It's, remember, she's a member of the Kennedy family. That's how they do it. They're all, they marry into politics, folks. And mm -hmm. his career, he has no future, so I hang with a guy that's got no future. I know, she could go but into it, politics. I, I gotta tell you something, a little secret. You can't hide the fact that you've got a kid, you know, that's basically with the woman living under your roof and her going to the kid's birthday parties. Uh -huh. It's because she knows the kid is you know, you know, is a relative of her of her children, so she goes to the birthday parties. And consumer spending breaks a ten month rising streak. Because okay, didn't I just say that nobody is buying anything, so manufacturing isn't up? I know, isn't that amazing? Yeah. And Strauss Khan accuser story questioned source. Oh God, this woman is basically lied to some. She lied to a grand jury, which means she's going to a jail. She lied to the State Department, which means she's going to jail. She personally lied to Hillary Clinton, which means she's going to have her head handed to her. She's claimed that she's been raped by so many people that uh, you know that nobody nobody believes her. And they said, they said this afternoon they think today. They're going to have to expunge his record entirely. And Obama has got, uh, in my day, they would say Obama's having cats. Mm -hmm. You know, because he's, he arranged for this all to be done to get rid of, a, of the next president of France. And it looks like they've elected him to the presidency now because French, the French people love a French leader that's basically philanders. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. And, um, often you just have to accept things for what they are.